Listen, do you want to know a secret? Apre V, Codge Biker here. Do you want to know a secret? Uh, it's not really a secret, but uh, I suspect that a lot of people don't bother with this, but there is actually a number plate light built into the tail light of this bike. So I can delete, hopefully, um, the number plate light and the number plate holder. This wobbles around a lot, particularly off-road, but it's a single cylinder engine. It's okay here, it's very smooth actually, but as you get towards the extremities, this can move around quite a bit. I've lost a bolt out of uh, that part of the tail, and I lost a, recently lost a bolt out of the number plate. Of course, you can lock tight them all, be fine. I did buy this tail tidy over a year ago. I was going to fit it, but my first day out after lockdown, it's been locked down for three months. Uh, the fifth lockdown, I think. I went out and within about 10 minutes, I stopped by the police to check my number plate. In UK, we have these massive, great number plates, which make the job even worse. Look at that. And then you have to have a reflector on the end of it. So the whole thing is just unwieldy. I know you can just chop this and stick a number plate on there, which is fine if that's what you want to do. It's not my sort of style of doing things. Unfortunately, there's a number plate light built into the bike here. And it, in the UK, to pass the OT, if you, at least for nighttime use, you've got to be able to have a number plate light. But I'm pretty sure there's one hidden in there. I think this is the same tail light that's used on the 790 Adventure and Adventure R and other bikes as well. I'm pretty sure that that is a number plate light. So what I'm going to do is remove all of this, which means I've got to remove the carrier. Carrier's got to come off, fuel cap, probably everything. All this has got to come off to get to the uh, number plate holder. And then uh, I'll show you the, what I'm going to replace it with, at least to begin with. So I purchased this over a year ago. This comes in two pieces. There's the actual light bracket that uh, will hold the rear light in when you remove all the rest of it. And uh, the actual shortened number license plate, number plate holder, whatever you want to call it there. So if I'm right about that light, it should shine directly onto the number plate and uh, should all be legal. So uh, yeah, that's the, the version of it. Now it's, I'm guessing it's steel, it's quite heavy. I'll weigh that in a minute. Whether we're gonna gain any weight advantage, I doubt, but um, we will reduce the leverage on that back end. And we do quite thoughtfully provide a little reflector so it can stay really legal. Whether you use this one of these or not, doesn't really matter. What I was really interested in was this. They provide a scotch block to clamp together a white and green wire, which will energize or electrify that uh, number plate light on the back. So I'm not gonna use those scotch blocks. I don't like them. Mind me in 1970s, 1980s car wiring, get water in, corrode, fall to bits, have a fire. No, thank you. I'm sure they're safe. I'm just saying I don't like them. So I'm gonna make up um, a little, tiny little adjustment to the um, lead for the light. Seat achieved. Moved. Nothing. Ta-da! Bad to happen. Okay, you can leave that bit on the bike normally, but because we've got this cap on, um, I don't want to unbolt it all, so they do come out. Right, so I haven't got into there. See all this stuff here, a clump of wires for your tail light and everything. So you've got indicators. I think one of those wires is for the um, for that number plate light. It's not activated on the 690. I'm guessing they just use the same um, components on different bikes and just activate what needs to be 
for the job as they've got this number plate light here they don't need the one there so it's not activated so we just need to put some power to it and it should work in theory anyway i have to cut that cable tie and unravel all these wires but i'll just have a quick look at how they're in there first before i do anything else okay all nice and dry and clean in there as well well designed waterproof all of this reversible as well if i don't uh, like it i can quickly reverse it simply cut the wire that i'm putting in remove that and the bike's back to stock cable tie cut you can see how it goes it's quite convoluted isn't it how they've done all that now that wire down there is going to this through a grommet whether you can see that or not there is a a grommet there with the line for the number plate light one two I bet everybody watching this saw those didn't they two more bolts you fool right so that's disconnected the tail light Got to get to work on removing the indicators, removing the tail light, connecting the green wire to the white wire as best we can. I'm going to probably just bridge it and then shrink wrap seal it. See that, but on the rear tail light plug, look, there's no connection there. It's actually just cut off. Got the indicators. You never help, do you? Just supervise. Yeah. And the nuts and bolts. Comes to 732 grams, so it's not, not light. If that was made of aluminium, it'd probably be about 400. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so 774 grams for all the plastic bits that have come off. That doesn't include the bolts, actually. There's a few bolts as well. So... Uh, Roughly, the weight's about the same, but there's so much less leverage. Okay, so having set the bridge between the white and the green wire, soldered it, and I'm going to seal it with some liquid tape. The stage one of the protection. I'm waiting for that to fully dry. Let's just test it. We'll see if that light there comes on, the number plate light. So, what I'm looking for is a light there, which wasn't there before. Oh yeah, sorry, there. There it is, number plate lights, hooray! So that works. Hidden away there all the time. I have to heat shrink that because I had to cut it. Nice and steady. Okay, so, so if you only tuned in for the secret, then uh, you don't need to know the rest of this because you probably won't be using this kind of table tidy. But uh, anyway, let's get on with it. I'll carry on just in case anybody's interested. That's all back together. Indicators, tail light. So we've got uh, the fuel pump, number plate light, indicators, will be the wrong way around obviously, should be. So that's the left indicator when it's that way around. It's the right indicator when it's the other way around. In Britain we have LED indicators, I don't know what you have in America, this always look very strange to me. You have great big Belisha beacons on the back of your bikes. Okay, so that's this version of the tail tidy. Yours may differ, but uh, it all seems to be working, and I've got a witness. <laughs> I know that wine's going to be tight, it's got to go in there. And all the wires are in exactly the same as they were when Katie ended them. No difference. That 
is on. Need to tighten those. There's my number plate. Uh, John would like to turn on the ignition. We will see the number plate light there. Look, oh, look at that. So my, I had a number plate on. It'd be nice to a little, everything working. And on that note, Hodge Biker and John is out. is out. Number plate simulation time. That's what it will look like from the side. Should be okay. Hopefully it would give enough if the wheel does hit it when I'm jumping over a bus. And from the back, go. Look at the light there. It's all lit up, legal. Codge Biker is out again. And John, again.